So what I'd like to do in this next segment is to pick up where we left off from the Hello World program with it. And if um, this is, if you recall, that these are the HTML code that I just used for the Hello World. It produces this Hello uh, World and rocks with the H1 tag with it. And I want to still, I'm um, just to uh, just keep things simplicity here. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to create a file called index.html, and this is going to be um, kind of like your index page at um, um, what you're about to do in Microsoft Word. And and uh, let me just show you this. What we're trying to do. This is just imagine that you're going to create a blank um, table in here with it on. This is a blank canvas. I'm using this as a demonstration to to tell you what you're about to do um, in Visual Studio uh, in, in uh, HTML in Visual Studio. So this is a table basically. This is considers rows and of course these are columns, right? So I just pulled up a whole bunch of columns and rows here for you, but just to give you some definition here. So this whole thing is called a table. This is the top part. This top row is called a table header. And this is the table data that goes inside of this. All right, and that's just some definition and terminology is that we're going to do this with as well. So let me just close out of this. We're not doing this in Word or anything like that with it. But um, remember this hello world that we, we have right here? Why don't you save this as, just follow along with me with it. I want you to take this hello world.html that we just saved. And we're going to modify this. But before we modify this, I'm going to take file save as. I'm still going to use a skeleton that I have on here. I'm just going to put it in the same places where the HTML, the folder that I have stored in here as well. So I'm going to do um, the name of the file. It's called index. And I want to put a dot HTML after it. I'll tell you why it's called index in a second, okay? Very important is for you to do a pull down in the save as type and select all files for me. So that way it puts a dot HTML. If you don't do that, it's going to put a dot text after this and it's not going to work in the web browser. All right? So we're, we're going to do index of HTML. Now, why is it called a dot, a dot HTML? I mean, I'm just pick up on where we left in our notes with it. So web servers, you can set web their files on the web server that you can actually set default to. Right? One of the file names is .html. Other files that you're going to hear, it's called default.html. You hear files called home.html. All sorts of files that you can call. But on my web server, I set this, I set index.html so it's a primary one with it okay so it just depends on the web server that you set it up with as well let me just clean up in between here with what we're about to do this is just the basic skeleton of, of the hello world that, the, that we clean up here with as well so again um, doc type tells you what does that tell you well I just gave you a definition on each one of them tells you to do it. This is kind of like defines this as HTML with it. Going into here with it, now HTML is not case sensitive. You know, I just I just happened to do this as uppercase with it just to demo. This will work like this as well. Okay, so doc type lowercase that this will work as well with it. The only part that's case sensitive is JavaScript. Once we get into the JavaScript coding with it, and you're going to hear let me talk about that a little bit more with it as well. So uh, let's go in here. Let's go, let's in the while or in the in the the while loop. No, in the title part, I'm going to call this "Welcome to My Home Page," something like this. Okay. And of course, you can dress this thing up looking like this, and everything. A lot of people that you see, they will be very artistic, and they will create funny faces and all the stuff. Everything that you put between the title tag, it will appear there. Okay, just let you know that. So um, you can dress it up however you want. All right. Um, that's all between the head tags. So again, where all the meta tags are found with it as well. What I'm interested in is in the body. Okay, in the body, in the body of, of, of the code with it. Bear with me, this is what, what we're about to do is not very responsive, but this is the first time we're doing this. 
and I want you to do this. We're going to do a table tag. And I'm going to close that table tag. Same tag, closing it with a forward slash with a table tag like this. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in here. Okay. Inside of the opening and the starting of the tag, I'm going to give it a width of 75%. Okay. What is this called? These are what's called values, and values are dictated by the quote. It's always the equal sign programming means the right side equals the left side. So this is what's called the element, if you recall. Once you put the left bracket in the right bracket, it becomes a tag. The width is what we call the attribute. All right, so bear with me with the vocabulary. We're going to give a table of 75% of the, of the screen. And then we're going to do border equal to with a value of 1, basically 1 pixel. And that's in a quote, by the way. Let me maximize this so we can see this a little better with it. And then I'm going to align this table to center. Put this table in the center. And then I'm going to also do cell padding, and bear with me again, it is going to be one pixel again with it. Okay, and then one more cell spacing. I want to find all of this for you when the, when the time's right with it. So this is just a simple table that we're putting together with it and with it as well. So inside, I'm going to step outside of this. So the same kind of word wrap because I ran out of the font I'm using. It's kind of large with this as well. The next set of tags, I'm going to tab in underneath it. Okay, just tab in. I purposely indent in so you can see uh, I'm missing. I'm going to use the table body. Of course, you got the table body. If there's a table body. What do you got to have? Uh, of course, you're going to have to cl close it off, right? So, so here is the beginning of that table body. I'm going to actually come down here and just tab them, make sure it's aligned. So they're properly aligned here. And then I need to have a forward slash in this thing. I haven't done anything yet right now. I'm just setting up for the table with it. Now going back to this Word document, if you notice that what I did here. So how many rows do I have? I have well, each one of these is a table row or table data to be exact. So the table data that sits inside of this is going to be a container holds this makes a, a table row. So this is what's called table data inside of this the second row. And the table data belongs to a table row. Okay, so bear with me the link line of them if I'm going too fast. So what I need to do is start up here underneath this. And I'm going to tab in. It's very important that you get this thing aligned properly with it as well. So I indented in purposely. It's a lot easier to read. This is what this is. So I'm going to TR and, and, and I'm going to actually close off in that TR for table row. Between this table row, how many columns do I have? I have three columns. Each one of those columns is going to be a table data. Okay, like this. I'm going to type this on the right. Bear with me in this. This this is what we call ampersand. Hang on for a second. I think I'm, I'm exceeded more more time on here, so I might have to pause and pick up where we left off. 